wizards and welcome back to The Pursuit of Happiness with me, Pigtail Girl, your friend and fellow traveller. And what exciting times they are right now. So I wanted to give you guys some more tools. You know I love giving you guys tools. Now one of the main objectives for me setting up this channel, apart from gathering the wizards, was really I've always wanted to see a planet of self-sufficient adults who can fend for themselves. You know, uh, even as a tarot reader, I'd rather put myself out of a job and know that everyone's self-sufficient and can get their answers than having even people to rely on me for that. I think you should be able to get all your answers by yourself, rely on yourself for your health, rely on yourself for your food, for, you know, for your magical doings, for your, your protections, for whatever it is you need, I'm all for self-sufficiency. I've always been about that. You know, this show has never been about me, myself and I, oh, look at me. I couldn't, you know, I could quite happily tomorrow give up, you know, talking on YouTube and go off and live my little life, if you know what I mean. But I feel very passionately about helping others get tools that they need. So as long as I can do that on this channel, I'm happy. So <laughs> without further ado, now I've got that disclaimer out of the way, um, I'd like to share with you something that I do. I make my own tarot cards. Now this is an old set I made ages ago and um, I just, I write myself messages. This one's I actually painted gold and I made them look pretty, which you can do, but they're very basic. You know, they're really just messages to sell. Messages I thought I might need to hear. Some are very perky and happy and, and some are, you know, a less, you know, this one's telling you take responsibility, man up, you know, say sorry, admit when you're wrong, you know. I, I have I have many things here, uh, you know, storm clouds and remind myself when some things are bad, just to, you know, remember that there's always something you can do about it, right, to change that energy up. So anyway, I have, this is an old pack, but then I have a new pack. Now these ones aren't very glamorous. I made them to get some quick insight, because at this time, I wanted to be able to get very quick answers, very clear to some questions I was having. And you know, these are also good. If you know how to do real tarot, you can do tarot and you can take these cards and you can put them to get a deeper clarity. And what I like about making these kind of cards is because they're not really fancy, it's just a piece of paper that I cut up. I just took big pieces of paper, folded them, you know, and then I cut them into equal sections. I maybe took two or three pieces of paper and I cut them all into equal sections, so they all look the same, it's just white. And you'll see on the other side, this is the kind of thing I wrote, I hope it's focusing. On some of them I put some numbers, you can put different um, things in, oh is the light going funny, in the video. So this one says, 333, very soon, the time is coming, it's on its way. You need to act now, move quickly, don't waste any time, this week, yes. So from that, I have a lot of bits of information about when something's gonna happen, how long is it gonna happen, it could be this week, it could be very soon, the time is coming. So this is a card that really clarifies that for me when I want further clarification on time. And each of my cards has either a yes or a no written on it. So I put numbers that trigger certain things in my mind. You can choose what that means to you. I put yes, and then let me find you another card. So I call these like, <laughs> Smell the bullshit cards, like you could, I, I, I didn't write it on these cards all over it, but it came to me after I made them actually. Because, you know, truth, there's so much um, misinformation and disinformation in this world. How do we get to the truth? Well, you can make your cards and, you know, it, here it says, yes, truth, I put a zero. You are seeing the truth more clearly now. The truth will come out, all will be revealed, can also refer to any info you just received to being true or an honest person. So you see, this is telling you if you if you thinking you're getting some info, you'd like to know, oh, is this the truth? Pigtail says it's this. Someone over there says it's that. Someone else I know says it's this. Well, what's the truth? I want to know. That's me anyway. It's <laughs> like I want to know the truth. I'm not interested in my opinion <laughs> about it. I'm not interested in the rumors and opinions. I'm very stubborn. So, and this one's a great one. This is a disappointment. Disappointment, the answer is no. Look, 100% absolutely not. Throw this one to the curb, bullshit. So that one, bullshit, 666. 
uh, can be also meaning black magic or entity attack or black magic or cult has something to do with it. So there's a really great card full of uh, negative things to put you in your place about something. The bullshit card, right? So you could take this theme and you can just literally just flow with it. I just sat down, I did this in 15 minutes, man. Um, this one took me longer when I did these because I painted them all. But I decided I didn't have time for that right now. I just wanted to get these, these answers out. So this one, loss, 131. The idea is, this idea is false hope. You could put false news. This idea is fake news. Fake news card, bullshit, smell the bullshit card. Fake news card, honesty card, honesty alert. You know, think about it. What things would you like to be able to divine when you are being bombarded with information on a day-to-day -day basis? Can you trust this person? Is this information good? Is it partially good? You could put half 50-50. You know, you could be playing with the idea of truth, of, of money, whatever it is you wanna focus on. I, I'm focusing on truth right now because I wanna get to the bottom of it. So this one is like, this idea is false hope. Don't pin your hopes on that. Bad investment, bad partnership, failure, ruin, no you will lose. So because I have an equal amount of like yeses and no cards as well, sort of good and bad, then I can also, if I get a card, if I'm asking just a question, I just want a more, you know, um, abstract answer, but then I want to get focused more in, then I can take the cards, I can take information from the numbers, I can take information from the messages, you can draw symbols on them if you wish, and then I can also use yes or no on the cards to get a quick, oh, is this card referring to so-and-so, as an example, or this country, is this card referring to next week? You know, if I want a quick yes or no answer, I can then use these cards as well. Now, often with my real tarot, I would do that with reverse cards and upright cards, and you know, reversed is no, upright is yes. But sometimes I get a little confused because I start looking at the meaning of the card, and then I start thinking, oh, is the meaning of the card the, the answer? And then I, sometimes I get a little, Dizzy Blondes moment going on. So I like this yes, no, yes, no. You could make an entire pack of as many yes, no's, truths, false, fake news, partial truths as you want. You don't even need any other messages. You could make just a, a basic truth pack. That would be very easy to get a very quick answer. If you are interested in that, you can do that. This one is like um, a warning card, 444 here. I have a warning card. The danger level is rising. It's a no card, no. You are not safe, be careful, take extra care, accidents, illness, rise in deaths around you perhaps. And then I've got other stuff on there that I'm not gonna say out loud and I'm not gonna mention. You can put anything that's up to date on there that you want to know about, you know, anything. Oh, then I have this one, <laughs> of course. I have one here that says, lucky, timeline reboot, timeline edit, sustainable dominant timeline arriving. So I have something personal to myself that I'm interested in knowing about. Um, core matrix action, yes, right? Um, so I have like um, this timeline card I have to give me some information on that. So if there's something I need to know, the card can also give me, if I take one in the morning or something, oh, this is gonna be a day where you're gonna see some timeline action going on. And then I, I like to see if it, if it measures up with what Starfire's reporting on. <laughs> see, it's a way I test my cards as well. I, I like to keep testing and make sure that the connection between me and the innate wisdom is, is on track, you know, that I'm not getting the wrong answers. Because when you're not on track, you're not balanced, you can get bad intuition, right? Bad discernment. We can all get bad discernment and an inability to see truth. So, Anyway, I also have some other cards. I mean, I just want to, I don't want to sit here all day maybe telling you, telling you them all. Um, some of them I'm not gonna say out loud. I'm just gonna show you. You can pause it and read it if you want to. Um, you know, you can just, you know, pause it and have a look. Or, you know, you can really just be creative. Angels, victory. Oh, this is a good one. This has been coming up a lot, this card. Um, this is a card saying, look here, pause it, I don't want to show up too long, pause this bit, read that bit, um, 40, in the next 48 hours, if you read it you'll see what I'm talking of that I'm not going to, you know, say out loud, and you can put the old, uh, you know, this one's in there, pause it, have a look. You see, you, you see where I'm going with this. Um, 
you know, and then a victory card. I've got a victory card. A situation is about to end. If you want to know when something's coming to an end, which some people might need to know right now, when things are coming to an end in their area, they might want to be able to get that answer themselves. Um, so there you have it, my darling, some little homemade tarot cards that you can tailor to your own needs. So, you know, I, I always like to think if I'm all alone, I've got no internet, I've got no electricity, what tools can I have so I can survive all by myself and, and have some maybe information or sustenance that I may need, right? So, you know, even if I was alone in, in, in a jungle, I could come up with a system to divinate. In fact, I've done it. Even without pen and paper, I can come up with some sort of system out of whatever I find in my environment. This is what being a wizard is all about, actually. It's about being creative to express your skills. And <clears throat> you'll find the more energy you put into stuff like this, the, the more potent you become. You know, in the old days, part of the uh, Magi um, initiation was to make their own tarot deck. Right? And there's a reason for that. It's when you make your own tarot de deck, you connect with it in a very special way, like a twin. You know how twins connect? It's like, this came from me, this, I made it with my own energy. Right? I don't have to charge these cards with my own energy or cleanse these cards. These cards are just always fully on point. And I know that because they tell me stuff I don't want to hear. <laughs> That's how you know your cards are doing their work. So I hope this you know, gives you a visual perspective of what I'm talking about. Look how plain and simple those cards were for me. Look, really, it, and, and just, you know, the smell the bullshit, truth, partial truth, liar, deceiver, honest person, trustworthy. Maybe not 100% not correct, but good intentions. You know, if you want to know about what's going on in the scene, um, political scene, truth of scene, religious scene, whatever, you, you can have the truth at your own fingertips, my darlings. You won't even need to watch my vids anymore. And then my job is done, isn't it? Then my job is done. <laughs> Always put myself out of work. Oh, and then I'll just spend my days lazing on a beach in a hammock, won't I? Yes, I will. So my dears, get your tarot on. Should we just pull a card, see what message, right? Now I've gone and come, let me just leave on, on a message um, out of these cards. What's it wanna say? Um, Oh, it's saying this. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we can all agree right now that that has been something. You can pause it. If you couldn't read it fast too quick, like I say, pause it. Look, it's talking, it's the danger card. Danger level rising. That means, yeah, battling pushy, pushy, choppy, choppy energy. And we can see that that's the case right now anyway. Um, whenever you have a battle between the light and the dark or, you know, good and evil, or DMA infested people and non-DMA infested people, uh, Jesus and the devil, whatever you want to, however you want to see it, whenever you have those battles, it is a dangerous uh, space to be around. So do take extra care, um, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and uh, be nice, be nice out there, spread a little love in the world, get your truth on, and I'll see you on the next episode. One love.